Welcome class. Today, we're going to learn about the physics of heat transfer. Now, when we say the physics of heat transfer, that's just a fancy way of saying how heat energy moves around in our world. Heat always wants to flow from where it's hot to where it's cold. And in the winter time, that means our heat always wants to leave our homes and our schools. And the larger the temperature difference between inside and outside, the faster our heat wants to leave. Now this is a fancy formula that we use to calculate how much heat energy is going to leave our home or our school over a period of time. Let me break it down for you. BTU stands for British Thermal Unit and it's a common measurement of heat. BTU per hour means heat over an amount of time, one hour. This U is a really interesting one. It comes from the German word Übertragen, which means transfer. Since we're talking about heat transfer, that makes sense. Now this A stands for area. This is talking about the area of a wall or a ceiling or a floor or a window that our heat is transferring through. Now this triangle here means delta. That's another word for difference. And the T stands for temperature. So when we talk about delta T, what we're talking about is the difference in temperature between two spaces. Now this is one of the most important factors that go into calculating our heat loss. Let's take a field trip to explore how this works in the real world. To the thermostat. When we have a thermostat, we set it to the temperature that we want our heating system to heat our inside area to be. Maybe you want to set it to about 65 degrees. That's a pretty common indoor air temperature. So inside, our heating system is working hard to raise the temperature to 65 degrees. Let's use this classroom wall for example. It's about 30 feet long and about 8 feet high for a total area of 240 square feet. Each surface and material has a different U value. When you think about a wall that's insulated to perhaps an R30, that has a U value of 0.3. For our example, we'll just pretend that this is a solid wall that is pretty well insulated. Now, remember we're talking about difference in temperature or delta T. The difference of temperature inside and outside. And in the winter time, it's going to be colder outside. It's time to do a little bit of mapping. So if it's 65 degrees in here, If our heating is leaving our building faster, the colder it is outside, that means our thermostat has to work harder to keep the temperature indoors up where we want it. And if our thermostat is making more calls for heat, that means we're using more electricity to heat our homes or our classrooms or our buildings. And when we use more electricity, our bills go up, unfortunately. If it's colder outside than it is inside, where does the heat want to go? Yeah, tell me. Outside. Outside, very good. And if it's really cold outside, is the heat going to go out faster or slower? Faster. Faster, very good. Yeah, that's exactly right. And if our heat is going outside faster, what has to work harder to keep, our, keep us nice and warm inside? The heater. Our heater, very good, yeah. And if our heater uses electricity to keep us warm, we have to use more electricity when it's really cold outside, right? Yeah. yeah. Which is a bummer, right? Yeah. 